Russia is all set to launch the world's first floating nuclear reactor and send it on a journey across the Arctic. In a milestone for the country's growing use of nuclear power, the vessel is ready to be dispatched on a 4,000-mile journey along the North Sea route. The plant, named the Akademik Lomonosov, is uh, designed to substitute to retire an aging nuclear plant and a coal-burning power station. Положительно, положительно, да, потому что, опять, по крайней мере, они применяются не там угольные станции, ничего подобного не применяется. Во-первых, не может быть никакого разлива нефти и так далее. То есть, как бы, природные среды, вот эти, как бы, топливо, они не используются. But environmentalists are split on the consequences that the nuclear plant can trigger. Concerns are especially rife after a deadly explosion this month at a military testing site in Russia's far north caused a strong radioactive surge. Now this after Greenpeace. In Congo's commercial hub Goma, the fight against the deadly Ebola as is as dependent on the waiters of the Lake Kivu. Let's take a look. The golden rule to avoid the spread of Ebola is to wash your hands regularly. But for that, you need water. In Goma, in the Democratic Republic of Congo, water is essential in the fight against the virus spreading across the region. Facing shortages, Ebola response teams have had to rely on the generosity of Lake Kivu to supply health checkpoints. The lake is crucial because it helps vulnerable people, poor people, and it helps in the fight against Ebola. When water is abundant, we can help prevent the spread of the disease. Finding water in Goma is difficult. The city's water distribution network is outdated and only supplies a few neighborhoods. For many of Goma's inhabitants, access to water means pumping it directly from the lake. The water problem in Goma clearly shows that only this part of the city is supplied, not the whole city. That's why a lot of people come to the lake to get their water. They also then carry some home for those who need it. On a daily basis, entrepreneurial water suppliers organize several trips. The lake water is treated with chlorine and then distributed to reservoirs in the region. Water towers like these require 5,000 liters of water per day. If the lake wasn't there, it would be catastrophic. Maybe the response teams would get water from elsewhere, maybe in Rwanda, in Sake, but... It